It's all you ladies. <laughs> All right. Hi, I am Chris. This is Carrie and Haley, and we are the creators. This is our hospitality training project. Um, to prepare for our project, we did some secret shopping, and we stopped at a couple hotels to see how the frontline workers would interact with us, if they knew about the background of Hayes, if they knew what Hayes had to offer, and um, just their overall customer service. Why are you here? The frontline workers need to have a basic knowledge of Hayes and what Hayes has to offer. If the frontline workers can endorse businesses and restaurants and be able to give directions and describe what the specials are um, and etc., the visitors are much more um, apt to actually take their advice and go and explore Hayes. When visitors do go and explore Hayes, they spend money. They're here to spend money, so why not take advantage? Hayes will benefit if we do. Our goal is to recommend overnight guests to local businesses and restaurants. Um, when we do this, it's a two-way street. It, the money will cycle from the ho Hayes Hotels to businesses and restaurants and back. In order to do this, Carrie will explain how. First, we need to make sure we're using good customer service skills. It's very crucial that we treat our guests properly. Also, we need to inform them about what there is to do in Hayes. When they're stopping, you know, it says 70% of people that actually stay in Hayes didn't intend on staying here. It was just they needed a rest stop, so they stopped. So we need to make sure they're happy and they can distribute a positive word of mouth. We have activities, sports and recreational, leisure activities, we have some unique restaurants here and tons of annual events that the customers need to be informed about. First off, we need to greet our customers. Woody Allen says that 80% of success is just showing up. In customer service, this success comes from treating the, the guests like they just showed up. We need to um, greet them with a smile. This portrays happiness. It can come back and make us happy. Um, it's important to smile with your eyes as well. People can look through a fake smile. It's very easy. And when answering a telephone call, keep the smile on because the person on the other end is going to know if you're grumpy. Remember that the customer is always right. Even though they may not be exactly right, we need to look as it, at this as an opportunity to, to improve and actually create a like, more loyal customer. Good communication skills is crucial. We need to know the difference between li listening and hearing. Many people listen but or hear what I'm saying, but how many of you are actually taking it in? Also, good body language. Only 20% of a conversation is conveyed through verbal communication. The other 80% comes through gestures and the way you're standing. So it's crucial that that is portrayed correctly. Don't interrupt the customer. If you need to clarify something, make sure you wait for the proper timing. They could completely ruin a conversation and uh, ruin their trust. Be empathetic. You need to try to put yourself in the customer's shoes. If there's a problem or something, don't just look at it your way. And also, try to avoid saying I'm sorry. It's completely overused. Try I apologize and be sincere when you say it. Um, keep the customers informed. If there's going to be a wait time or a service failure, Make sure they know what's going on. Because if you don't tell them, they're just waiting there and the wait's gonna seem longer. You need to try to keep up your appearance and mannerisms. First impressions are crucial. That's how, you're the first person they see at the front line. That's what they look at. They're gonna think that the whole business is what you look like and also haze. So if you look professional, you're gonna be more apt to act professional. Be polite. Say please, thank you, and you're welcome. Many people are starting to say, here you go, or sure, or okay. That just doesn't look good. Um, this creates a customer loyalty and also a sense of personal interaction. So like I said before, we have all sorts of activities, and now we're just going to go into more detail about some of them. For sports and recreation, we have the Centennial Lanes, which I'm sure you all know. We also have the Precision Valley, which is really neat. Most people just think it's a golf course. But we actually have a golf <coughs> simulator there and a sports bar. Uh, the Hayes Rec has all sorts of activities to do. There's tennis courts, a pool, a huge workout facility. And the Hayes Aquatic Park is, 
park is great for families, individuals, and there's all sorts of activities, water slides, the lazy river, and the kids play area. Also, up by the hospital, we have a medical fitness trail. It's not quite a mile, it's about three-fourths of a mile. And during the trail, there's different stations you can stop at, and it has little workout uh, centers. And we also have the sports complex, which has baseball fields and tennis courts. Hayes is a destination for many motor coach tours. For example, Shop Hop. It's a quilting uh, motor coach type event where quilters go from shop to shop <laughs> in Kansas. Um, however, we do have a lot more potential than the motor coach tours that we do currently offer. We should be marketing towards that. Also, um, leisure activities include um, a museum, art galleries, uh, theaters, the Chestnut District, and our malls. For example of what you could say as a frontline customer, frontline employee, um, if you mention that the Sternberg Museum is the home of the famous fish within another fish, uh, fossil, that may just get them interested. They may just go to see that and decide that they'll stop somewhere else along the way. Um, we also have several art galleries. These are only a couple. Um, most of them are free, so that's a great family fun thing to get them into Hayes. Um, we also have the Showplex Cinema, and the Chestnut District is very unique in itself, as well as our two malls that we have in town. Okay, um, including all of the stuff we have in town, we also have a lot of things outside of town um, around Hayes. Kansas Wildlife and Parks, we actually have a regional office. Um, we have several different things you can hunt here in um, Kansas, around here, whitetail, turkey, mule deer. Um, fishing, the closest um, community lake is Ellis. Um, I know people sometimes come just to hang out and maybe get away for a while. Uh, my parents have been to um, the, the one north of town. Um, reservoirs, you have Wilson, and you also have State Fishing Lake, which is Ottawa. We have different restaurants here in Hayes. Um, different types, Applebee's, a lot of college go, um, college goers go there. Um, but these are just a list of what we, the popular ones that we know a lot of our kids go to and are recommended from us probably to gonna be to the people that come in. We also have Old Fort Hayes. On November 11th of 1866, Brady Gear General Alexander Hayes, that's how Hayes got its name, after several different names. Um, People tell stories about the blue light lady. Um, she helped the soldiers when they got sick and um, now roams the old Fort Hayes um, hills. And so that's a neat thing you can tell people that if you wanna go search the blue light lady. Um, and then also at um, old Fort Hayes, the Buffalo statue was the fi one of the finalists of the Eight Wonders of Kansas. All right, so we have our incentives. We decided since we want to bring people in, why not reward the people that come in as well? Um, so we decided to do Foursquare. Um, we would hand out a sheet of how to get started and explain what you can get when you do do it. We would have to have all the businesses involved. Um, what happens is, is you go onto Foursquare. Okay, while well that's loading. We go into Foursquare and each business will have a special um, discount. So when you check in, such as, I know Walgreens does it, if you check in you get 10% um, off of your order or you can also do it for restaurants, you get a discount when you check in. And then you just show the code um, to your waitress or whatever and they log it and then they give you the discount for your checkout. Um, so this is what it looks like. You can also go on your phone. You download it on your phone um, as well, and you can check in. Um, it talks about mayorships, and um, it's basically a social game, but you can reward the customers as well with this. Um, okay. And then what we would do for our um, front desk agents we made a made up an event 
calendar for things that are going on in Hayes, things that are daily activities and um, by month. And we attached a business card on the back with it. And the front desk agent will hand this out. And then once they recommend a place and the, pers the customer goes to this place, they'll take the business card off and stick it into the bowl. And then each month there'll be a drawing for a 25 gift card um, to different ages, um, businesses around Hayes. In conclusion, we have an opportunity to take the money from hotels and convert it into our local businesses and restaurants, which will then cycle back. Um, the two-way street comes from the customer service, knowing little tidbits of information about Hayes, uh, just knowing something like the blue light lady, where ghost enthusiasts could relate to that and want to go see for old Fort Hayes. Uh, even knowing that Applebee's has half-price apps, which I'm sure you all do, uh, that's also a great way for a uh, family to go and save money. By providing incentives, we are providing motivation for the frontline employees to recommend local businesses and restaurants. Uh, this circular effect will happen where the visitor is pleased, they will tell their friends about it, their friends and the same visitors will come back and visit again, and spend more money here in Hayes, where Hayes will benefit. And this is our exciting. Any questions? How do you guys propose um, the with Foursquare? Like, are you going to have to go to all the restaurants and get them to um, like go sign off on like a certain percentage discount or whatever? Like. Because, like, obviously, if you show code, like, a certain things comes up on, you know, your thing and you're not interacting. So how would that, like, play into it? Basically, it would be whatever they want to. I mean, they can put however much discount they want on it. But, yeah, we would have to go to each business to ask, I mean, for permission to make sure that, you know, they want to do it and stuff. But it's more of, more incentive, like, if, say, Applebee's does it, it gives them more business well we can say oh well hey Applebee's has a discount you know make sure you go there check in you get a bigger discount so I'm a little bit confused is this presentation the one that you're going to use whenever you're training the employees to talk about Hayes basically but a little bit more in depth okay. yes we want to make sure that our front line knows about Hayes because we did do secret shopping and a lot of people don't know about Hayes so we need to make sure that we inform our front line and so they can know different areas of Hayes, whether it be north of town or little things like Old Fort Hayes or the Chestnut District. But we need to make sure that they know because if someone's going to say, well, if I recommend you to go to Old Fort Hayes and you say, well, what are their hours? I should be able to know what their hours are or know that, oh, well, they're not open today or anything like that. Like you need to make sure that you know what's going on in Hayes as a frontline worker. And it is a lot of information, but I mean, as long as you can pick up on most of it, it will help. Um, the one question I have is, I like the, the idea to use the Foursquare. I've shared my stories numerous times when I go check in and get my discounts or my free raise or the hotel or whatever it may be. But um, is, that, is that something, do these complement each other, the Foursquares? or are they together? Is a Foursquare an, an initiative of this, or is this separate? This is separate. This is separate, okay, mm -hmm. so that's what I thought. I ended up to the the Foursquare is more for customer's benefit. Um, to let them know to inform yes. them that, mm -hmm. hey, we do have some of these places. If you are familiar with Foursquare, you, you ought to check right. in when you go. And that's what this sheet was as well. Like when we hand out the events calendar, like we'll hand this out and it tells you how to get started and it tells you that you can do it on your phone, you can do it through text messaging okay. as well. Do I have that? Oh, I'm yes. sorry. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. I did not know about Foursquare. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you.